morning everybody welcome back to my channel life of the rob i'm rob as you see i'm out dressed for hunting again today's the uh, extended season for gun season i got in my stand uh, first thing this morning and didn't see anything so i moved to the back stand back where my climber's at you can see it back behind me here where those pine trees are behind me it's right by that pine tree there on the way back in, I seen two little deer feeding along the lane there, right out of my stand. And uh, little bitty ones. I don't want to shoot them little ones. So a little bit later on, it's about 9:40 now. About 9:30, I uh, heard something come uh, walking through the woods, and uh, turned around behind me and uh, took a shot at it. And this is what I got. Oh, six point. So I'm going to uh, get to uh, field dressing him out. Normally, when I start field dressing, I shave a spot on the stomach to uh, right above the sternum to uh, start with. Start my first cut there, my plunge cut, and then do a zipper zipper cut all the way down the body. So if you look here, I've already got this is the rib cage. Right in here's the rib cage. It's just the bottom of it. So I just shave a spot like this here. Get my knife started in there. And cut it all the way down. Okay, down to around the a hole there, and then uh, open them up. And then I get my uh, my saw. I got a folding saw here. I use to uh, cut through the pelvic bone to uh, get the pelvic bone opened up. This way, it's giving me better access to all of the uh, innards. The innards usually come out and usually come out in one big glob or try to. <clears throat> so I don't try to damage any of the organs and stuff when I'm taking it apart. So I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna try to do what I can while I can with one hand. I don't want to get my camera all bloody but I'll try to do what I can to show you what I'm doing this is my favorite knife it's got like a little hook on the end here called a gut hook it works like a zipper it's pretty quick pretty easy you get your first plunge cut in here and you put your thing in like a, like a zipper and it just unzips I'll show you how to work it I'm taking my saw I made a cut down right down through this pelvic bone all the way down through so it's all the way through now so I can open up when you get ready to pull these inners out all that comes out the back okay uh, not to gross you guys out but what I normally do is like I said once I get him field dressed I'll show you in a second here Got all the inners out. There's all the guts. Okay, up inside there is the chest cavity. I put the heart and lungs out. Reach up here as far as I can and grab my trachea out, cut as high as I can go. I only went in about that far. So, anyhow, I got this guy field dressed. Now I'm going to drag him back to the house. Let him hang for a while, get some blood out of him, rinse him out a little bit, and uh, be good to go. Look at it. All right, here's the back end of it. He's been going out every faithfully, faithfully, faithfully. He gets up at, on his days off, he'll get up at 4 a.m. and go out in the like 30, well, what's the coldest day been? Like about 10. 10? Who wants to do that? Not me. But oh, good job. Good job. All right, so now we're deciding where to hang this thing. We've got a couple of trees. I don't know. That one. We don't want to hang them so we can't watch them. So Rob's going to move this swing for the kids and hang it on the, the swing bracket there. All right, so he's got it out of the truck. I'm, I'll stay back. 
and he usually puts he'll put it on that thing that thing that carrier thing so I don't know if you're a deer hunter but having the right equipment is key he has a lot of stuff when I say a lot of stuff he's got a lot of stuff poor guy had to drag that out of the woods by himself he thinks it weighs about 140 pounds maybe he said look at my dog over there he, he said it felt like about 600 pounds dragging it out though I think the dog wants to help Have you when you need some help? He's gonna go get his four wheeler and pull that up. It's awfully heavy, and I can't help him. So go to Plan B. Now, are you just going to leave the four-wheeler sit there and hold yes. it? Probably the best idea. Yeah, I'm going to go get some uh, warm water and flush his blood out of the ears. Get that done now. Uh, blood and hair and stuff out. Let him drip for a while. Then I'll put him in the garage for probably a good day or two. Let him drip for a while in there. Put some paper or something underneath of it so he gets, so he gets any blood and stuff. It's going to be warm, but not overly warm. It's not going to be about 50, so I think we'll be okay. Well, here I am, back at the house. We got uh, the deer unloaded. It's hanging in the uh, swing set here. Hook up to the four-wheeler. I'm going to let it drip for a while. I kind of wash it out with some deep, deep water. Get all the blood out of it. Let it drip all the blood out of it. And I'll probably hang in the garage for a day or two. Let it uh, get, nice and, get nice and cool in there. Back inside, I'm undressed. I guess I'll get some play clothes off to put them in a wash. I'm gonna close the video out now and uh, probably uh, change clothes and get a bite to eat. Get we'll back out later on this afternoon. Anyways, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't, haven't subscribed yet, please do. There's more to come yet. I'll see you later.